I've watched thousands of armed robberies, carjackings, muggings, stabbings, home invasions. I don't know anybody who's put as much time into dissecting actual caught on video violence like I have. My mission is to help the regular good people of our world to recognize where the danger could be and respond to it appropriately. So this is where the magic happens. Um, in my home office, it's not maybe the uh, most glamorous place in the world, but this is where we do it all. My name is John Correa. I am the founder and owner of Active Self Protection. Active Self Protection exists to help people in all walks of life to protect themselves and their families by building their attitude, their skills, and their plan. So what we do is every day people send me real videos of armed robberies, carjackings, muggings, stabbings, home invasions, um, sexual assaults sometimes, defensive encounters of all kinds, and um, I do after action reports on them. So I tell people what happened and then what lessons we can learn um, from them as self-defenders. Every day on the main channel on YouTube, we post a narrated video of a real-life defensive encounter. Combined, we have about 1,300 narrated self-defense videos. A fan of the channel sent this video to me today. This is his self-defense encounter. Uh, he's on duty at a pawn shop and he's just putting merchandise out. And these guys are gonna show up and stick guns in his face. And so he ducks into the back here and draws his firearm. He knew that he had to uh, get his gun in the fight. He knew he had to wait his turn. He said that very particularly. The guy put a gun in my face and I knew I had to wait my turn. But when he said to get down, I knew I had to act because if I didn't in that moment, I would have been killed. And he said, I knew I had to launch a counter ambush. So it was very gratifying to hear him using the terms that we use on the channel all the time and to hear him use the principles that I teach and that he remembered them in the moment and used them in his self-defense. Quiet on the set, here we go. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Bountiful, Utah in the United States. Out of this particular video, we have a whole bunch of lessons that we really need to think about. Chief among them, about carrying your force multiplier. Secondly, we see something new and different here. This is the very first time that I've seen someone drive in to somebody who's actually shooting at them. So we're gonna talk about shooting at a moving target. And third, we're gonna talk about the importance of emotional fitness when the fight for our lives is on. He ended up shooting the guy four times and the guy died at the scene surveillance video showing a store clerk fighting for his life. Clearly the clerk had, had trained and prepared for this day. I know that in speaking with him, he's deeply saddened that this had to occur. He said, I watch your channel and a couple of others and that really saved my life. And I get messages like that often now, at least weekly, people saying, hey, John, you saved my life. I was a pastor for 14 and a half years. The church that I passed get closed in June, which is really hard for me. But, you know, Ecclesiastes says there's a time for everything. So there's a seasons of life and time to let it go. And so that's what I feel like the Lord has asked me to do. Focus on the ministry that I have through active self-protection, on serving Him in the real world. I used to think that he was really paranoid. So he'd go out and he's constantly like scanning places and being super observant about stuff and where he wants to sit at the table so he can see both doors, you know. And now I realize that's just how his brain works. So I've been able to see that and, you know, I don't tell him to chill out anymore. And I don't tell him like, gosh, why do you have to sit in that one seat? Like, does it really matter? I'm like, that's just who he is. Okay, which seat do you want to take? <laughs> together. John makes me feel safe. Well, it's important for me to make you feel emotionally safe because I don't want to make you feel emotionally safe. I want you to be emotionally safe. And I guess I feel like, in reality, I mean, gosh, around Jesus, you, you, you're safe. Mm. And so that's, if I'm trying to imitate him, then I should be safe. And, and that means, you know, uh, we have this joking saying in the self-defense community, if you can't be safe, be dangerous.
So this is, I really feel like so far, the, the biggest indicator that active self-protection is kind of making it. This is my 2017 Mustang GT. It's an eight year story of me getting this car. Eight years ago, I, I fell in love with them. Couldn't afford it at the time. And now active self-protection has grown to the place where it's providing full time for us. It's a blessing, we, we have enough. And on Father's Day, my wife said, go buy your Mustang. So we're out here today at Ben Avery shooting facility in Phoenix. We're filming videos for the Active Self-Protection Extra channel, which is where we teach firearm skills as well as empty-handed skills. And so we're gonna get some footage, have some fun, do some shooting. The Gorilla Approach Consistency Drill. I'm gonna drop and then I'm gonna try to put one shot in each of these one-inch circles and a part time of 10 seconds or less. I watch all of his videos every day. I subscribe to both channels, of course. I watch it to gain skills. You know, I've got multiple sclerosis, so I'm disabled, um, and uh, that makes me a target in a way. So uh, the more skills, the more training, the better you are. So I think the audience of active self-protection is mainly people who are patriots, people who love their country, people who want to protect not just their country, but their family, the things that they hold dear to them. If you've learned anything from watching Active Self-Protection, it's probably that evil exists and that we need to be guard on that. We reach 25 million views a month, averaging 2,500 to 3,000 comments a day. Now certainly there's going to be uh, a, a subset of people who they just like violence. I actively discourage those people from watching. There have been three or four times I've actually alerted the FBI and gotten calls back from the FBI on it. Some people might say I'm promoting violence, but I'm not. I don't promote violence at all. In fact, I promote peace. When I first decided, hey, let's put a few of these up so people see real life attacks, I had to, to really search for them. And today, I mean, they're ubiquitous. They're everywhere. <laughs> the ability to do this and to have the information we have is now today, even on what I have available, 13 to 1400 narrated videos as of right now, is a database that we just didn't have. Oh my gosh, here we are everybody. Hey, so <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing this as we go. I just thought I would live stream us going over a million subs. Somebody asked me what the deal is and where are we going from here? Number one, we are going to uh, keep doing what we've been doing, right? That's the big thing there. But we're also looking at streaming services. I'm also considering Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, those kind of things. There we are. <laughs> A million and three, woo! I'm gonna show you guys this. Social blades, boom, right there. Live count, a million and eight. We just did it. Yes, violent crime in America is down. In fact, we're near historic lows, and that's fantastic. I'm excited about that, but it still exists. And statistics are great until you're the one that gets chosen. Uh, and we see that every day. And our goal is to help that to not be you. And if God forbid you are selected as a victim to be able to protect yourself. And I think that's a good and helpful and necessary thing in America today.